Tori here with another December Daily. I know it is totally not December. It's also not January because it's now February, for goodness sakes. But oh, I really want to get these videos posted for you. It's been challenging for me to make time to do the voiceovers, but I am at it. I am like going to get this finished as soon as I can, and I am determined. So... I hope that you guys don't mind that you're still getting December Daily videos in February. <laughs> but hopefully I can get them finished before the end of February. <laughs> That's my goal. Um, so today I am working on day 11 in my 2018 and 2019 album. And I'm really happy with the way that these pages turned out. I decided to start on my 2019 album. I know it's a little blown out there, but I'll bring it down in just a second so you can see. So on day 11, I have two photos. I have a photo of my Christmas bunnies and then also a photo that I had screenshotted from Find My Friends, which is an app that you can like see where your friends and family are. It's a little stalkerish. But I kind of love it because I like looking it up and seeing like if my family is at home or if they're still at church or where they are. I don't know. I'm a stalker. <laughs> so I'm putting those two photos in there and they kind of go with the story that I wanted to share on the 11th. And um, if you've been watching my December Daily for a few years, you've probably seen these Christmas bunnies make like multiple occurrences they kind of make it into every single album because they are one of my favorite things about Christmas there is a boy and a girl bunny and my mom has had these bunnies in our house since like before I was born and um they just mean a lot to me so I really wanted to include them so I stuck the bunnies down I also grabbed a circle die cut that said making spirits bright and included that above the bunnies. I felt like it needed just a little something else. So I'm just going to look through some of my stickers and stuff. I did find one that said born to fly. And I'm going to put that on the find my friends screenshot. So while I'm doing that why don't I read my journaling to you for the 11th. So I love having these bunnies. They are like <clears throat> a little piece of home when I'm far from home. I love that Courtney and Andrew have a set in Chad. It makes me happy to think we each have one of the originals from mom and then a second new one I was able to find. Um, we may be all kilometers away, but these bunnies bring us together. It's crazy to think my sissy is 2,792 kilometers away. <coughs> Sorry. But in this moment, I can close my eyes and imagine she's here. I wonder if she's thinking of me. Um, when she looks at her bunnies. Does she remember how we used to play with them each year? Do the memories flood in like they do for me? So, um, yeah, that's when I put the bunnies and I'm doing my journaling and I just kind of put my journaling on the doily and then on the back of this, like, glassine bag that I had glued the screenshot to. And it's a pretty simple page overall, but I love the story that goes with it. If you watch my December Daily a couple years ago, you know that um, my sister and I were kind of, to put it nicely, fighting over the bunnies because my mom had them and my mom said my sister could take them with her when she left for Africa and I was like, what? You can't give her the bunnies? I want the bunnies. Seriously, this is the conversation we were having um, as grown adults. And so my mom was like, well, you can each have a bunny. But then it made me really sad that like one of us would have a girl bunny and one would have the boy bunny, but we wouldn't have the set. So I ended up going on eBay and finding an identical set of bunnies and having them shipped to us. So my sister and Chad has one original bunny and one new bunny. And in Kenya, I have one original and one new bunny. And it just it's just such a special Christmas memory. So I'm glad that I could document that in my 2019 album. So then I moved on to my 2018 album, as you can see. And on the 11th, last year we were putting up our Christmas tree. So I have some photos of our ornaments, a photo of me reading to my mom, a photo of Bernie covered with Christmas lights, and a photo of my mom next to our tree. And as you can see the tree is not fully lit because it was broke. And <laughs> not broke, it was broken. 
It's been broken for years and I keep encouraging my parents to just go and get a new one. Like, come on. Um, but my dad was like, no, we can make it one more year. So that is that. I also have this really gorgeous um, cut file that came from Paige Evans. I believe it came from her 25 Days of Christmas cut files. And it's a Christmas tree with a bunch of circles. So before the video started, I backed all of those circles. And now I'm just starting by adhering my photos. So I had made a couple of collages of ornaments on the Pick Stitch app, which is one of my favorite apps. If you haven't checked it out, you should totally. And then I have a smaller photo of me reading to my mom and then a 3x3 three three photo and I think a 3.5x6 maybe photo of my mom with a Christmas tree and I kind of adhered those down. So one of the benefits of using a junk journal is you just kind of already have the pages there. You're just kind of going with what you have and making it work. So I decided that I wanted to add a tag behind those ornaments, collages. And I grabbed this brownish one from Crate Paper that says Winter Memories. And I added a little bit of yarn on the top and I'm going to end up doing my journaling um, on the back of there as well as on some of the other pages like the journaling made it onto a couple of pages. I also wanted to stamp the date. I've been using this mini roller date stamp um, from October afternoon every day and I found a ornament die cut from Brandy Kincaid and Feed Your Crafts that had kind of a space on it so I stamped the date on there and I'm going to adhere it there and then I started working on my journaling. So while I'm doing that, why don't I read my journaling for you? So these are some of my favorite ornaments for each one holds a special memory. The memory of where it came from or who made it or how long we've had it or putting it up each year. Memories I hold dear and will forever. And it's so true. Like I just feel like each of those ornaments, like I have such special memories with them. So that's what I did on the back of the tag. And then on this piece, white piece here, I added a little photo of me reading to my mom. And then I'm going to end up doing a bunch of journaling there. And I just wrote, Mom and I finally got a chance to put up the Christmas tree and Christmas decorations. I love that we did it together. We made some tea from my David's Tea Advent calendar and put on some Christmas music and got to it. We sang along and we may have even bust a dance move um, here and there. When I got tired because I've been sick for so long, I sat down and we listened to the Christmas story and read it on the Bible app. Somehow, like every year, we had to untangle the lights again. I know we put them away nicely, but somehow in the box, they get all tangled up again. And again, our faux tree didn't work. Only the bottom tier. I kept, I keep saying we should get a new one. We decided this would be the year we'd use this one um, one more time and then buy a tree when they go on sale after Christmas. At least Bernie looks cute. Just teasing. We made it work. So Bernie was all covered with the ornaments, so that's that photo of him. And then I have a photo of my mom next to the half-lit tree. I decided to add some tiny word sticker phrases. So to the photo of me reading from the Bible app, it just says words to live by and happy. And then on the photo of Bernie, it just says man's best friend. Too bad it doesn't say woman's, but you know, you got to use what you have. And then on the photo of my mom, I just added a phrase sticker that says love these memories. And then I really wanted to add some more dimension and I don't know, something extra special to this page. So I decided that on each of the circles, which I had backed for that cut file, I would add a embellishment on top that matched or was like the same color scheme as the paper if I could and it kind of creates this really like textured um, Christmas tree which I love the way that it worked out. It did take me a while to create it because I was like slowly going through all of my embellishments to see what would work and what I would like but I kind of like the way that it turned out like the color on color thing makes me really happy and all in all, this layout like took me some time, mostly from doing those embellishments, which I've sped up for you a lot here, 
Um, but other than that, it was a pretty easy layout to put together. I just felt like it was one of those ones that came together. Something about these junk journals and having those pages already in actually makes it a lot easier for me, I think, to scrapbook because I feel like a lot of the like decision making is taken away. Like I don't have to think of the color scheme or decide what I'm going to put on the page or how I'm going to create the page. I'm just like sticking the photos I have in and like making them work with what's there. I don't know. It's one of the benefits of junk journaling in my humble opinion. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this layout. Um, I do go through and look for a few more embellishments to put on those last few hearts or last few circles, but that's pretty much it. I did have a question for you guys though as I'm wrapping up. Um, are you okay still seeing these December daily videos even though it's February or would you prefer that I just um, didn't make the videos anymore, maybe just finished out the albums and then did a final flip through. I'm just wondering because like I'm happy to make the videos for you and I think I will. Um, I'm just wondering if you guys still want to see them. And then hopefully after my two December dailies are done, I can move on and like actually start scrapbooking about being here in Kenya, which I think will be really fun and I think you guys will enjoy seeing so I'm looking forward to scrapping that anyways that's pretty much it for me today I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions leave a comment I do read all of those and I hope you have a lovely day bye